Okay, so I, I just want to say, I'll, I'll take a little bit of a time, so please excuse me. You guys have sat so long, we've sat, met such wonderful people, such great achievers. Another few minutes. <clears throat> Normally when you get an award of this caliber, I guess the regular way, regular way of acceptance is uh, to first thank the organizers of this award and then show gratitude and a bit of humility and also thank the team behind uh, the work that has made you get this award. But I'm going to do none of it. <laughs> Honestly. And I have two very good reasons for it and if you have two very good minutes, I'd like to explain myself to you. It's been a bloody long time since I've won an award now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've started believing now I was doomed or destined to win one of these, what, lifetime achievement awards at these loud and colorful TV award shows, which unfortunately I've also hosted lots of. And I really want to keep this award to myself, not share it with anyone at all. And the second reason is, you know, because I've had three highly successful films this year, super duper hits, show off, <laughs> little bit, why not, thousand crore club and stuff, man, yeah. So there are thousands of people behind, some of them present here, like my friend Anirudh, who are responsible for this success. And uh, to thank thousands of people will take a lot more than two minutes, so I'm not going to thank them either. The other thing is <coughs> that I believe that this award should be devoured by me. It should only be eaten by me. Because in the voice of Vikram Rathor from Javan, I am hungry. <laughs> and I've always been hungry. And I'm hungrier now with this award in my hand because there is no other way you can be if you want to keep on doling out entertainment year after year for 140 crore people for the last 33 plus years. And I'm also very impetuous, impulsive, like a modern actor should be, modernistic, futuristic, unbridled and innovative. So I just like to tell you how I sign my films. At the spur of a moment, I hear a story and I say yes to it. I don't think about the box office. I don't think about should I be playing this character even if it's vertically challenged? Should it be like larger than life? No, I just say, okay, I'll do this film. And then I keep awake all night because I'm futuristic and wait. Wait for someone from future to come and tell me, bro, this is a bad decision in the future. More often than not, nobody comes. So I wake up in the morning and in a jiffy, I've signed this film and I'm doing it. Apart from being impetuous, I'm also very, very confident in my talent and hard work. So confident that very often my wife tells me that you're overconfident and cocky. Hubristic I also sometimes. I'll just give you an example, it's not so. My 10-year-old son has a Lego set and I finish it end to end in four days. Yes. Full. Though clearly on the box it says 6 to 12 years. <laughs> but I finish it. My son obviously explained to me that this is for the specification of the age. It is not meant to be the time taken to make the Lego. But you know what? He's a young kid. Little entitled because he's a superstar son. What does he know? So I revel <laughs> till this bubble bursts. Apart from this, the good thing, the saving grace that is there is that I am a guy who's hopeful and tells happy stories. The heroes I play do good things. They give hope and happiness. If I play a bad guy, I make sure he suffers a lot. He dies a dog's death. Because I believe goodness begets goodness. And I believe badness deserves a kick in the backside. But going to bubbles bursting, the last four or five years have been a bit of a ride for me and my family. I'm sure some of you also, because of COVID and stuff, you know, most of my films flopped. A lot of specialists and analysts started writing my death knell. Some idiots did the same, which actually is the same thing, analysts and idiots. So it's not something that I really bother about. And then, at a personal level, a little bit of bothersome and unpleasant things also happen, to say the least, which <coughs> made me learn a lesson. That be quiet, be very quiet, and work hard, 
with dignity and still know it in your heart. When you think that everything is good, suddenly out of nowhere, wham, life may come and hit you and topple your apple cart. But this is the time where you need to be the hopeful, happy, honest storyteller and continue doing whatever you're doing and kind of think this is an aberration, this is a nasty plot twist. It is not the story that you're living and 100% is not the story's end. Because somebody somewhere told me that life may filmo ki tarah ant mein sab theek ho jata hai. Aur agar theek na ho to ant nahi hai. Picture abhi baaki hai mere dost. And I believe in him because I believe that goodness begets goodness. So when I get an award like this one, I'm reminded that I should remain the eternal optimist and hang on to the self-belief that I'm the fastest Lego maker in the world. <laughs> and I should play honest roles that give people courage to dream. I should keep working hard quietly with the hope that the life doesn't topple my apple cart anytime soon. And yes, I should remain impulsive and impetuous. So I started differently, but impetuously I feel I should thank CNN News 18 for conferring me with this award. Thank you very much. I want to congratulate all the other winners here. And I know your achievements are far greater than mine. And mind you, I'm only saying this to bring some humility in my speech. I don't really mean it here. But seriously, I want to thank Siddharth Anand for making Pathan for me, Aditya Chopra for producing it, Atli Kumar for making the biggest hit in Hindi cinema, Jawan, Anirudh for giving the music for it, and of course Rajkumar Hirani and uh, Abhijat Joshi, who gave me one of the most beautiful films of my life, Dunkey. I want to honor and dedicate this award to all the cast and crew members who worked relentlessly to make this possible, but I am not giving it to them. I'm keeping it myself because I need 30 seconds more, Zaka. I'll just tell you, because some years back when I used to get a lot of awards, I decided that every award that I give, get, I'll take it as a gift for one of my kids. It'll bring cheer to their lives. And I truly believe that the last four or five years that my family has seen, my children have seen, my wife has seen, Gauri, I think nobody <coughs> deserves a bigger cheer right now than them. So I'm taking this award back home for them and I'd like to say something brash I've kept my speech written because it is checked three four times over that I don't say something stupid and wrong and I get <coughs> picked on for it but still I'd like to say this thing which is very very brash that I don't just feel like the Indian of the year I feel I have been the Indian of all the years gone by and I will be the Indian for all the years to come. I am actually, ladies and gentlemen, the Indian for all ages. But I'd, I'd like to thank everyone here, genuinely, and people who are watching this on television. Hordes of you who came this year to watch my films, some of you may not have even liked them. But I know deep down inside you came there to support me, and my family. So, I bow down to you. And thank you. Thank you for bringing cheer to my family, my children, my loved ones. And I thank you for making me the star I am yet again. <laughs> Please have a good night, everybody. And thank you once again. Love you all. Thank you. Shut Sir, may I request you to join us here on Centre Stage? All right, you have a mic. Just uh, a couple of quick questions. Uh, I do want to take you back to January of 2023. Uh, just how nervous were you before Pathan released? Like you said in your speech, these are not my words, your words. People were writing you off, death knell, you know, Shah Rukh doesn't deliver hits anymore. How nervous were you before Pathan released? Um, I, I don't know if I was nervous, uh, but I was very scared. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, nervous is an easier word, you know, when you're nervous when you're coming here to say a speech. You're nervous when you're going to a party that you're not invited to. <laughs> <laughs> but you're scared, you know, because <clears throat> honestly this is all I know. That I know only to act and entertain people. And I've done it now for many, many years, more years than I remember. I counted when I'm writing a speech, it's 33 years plus. But this is all I know how to do. So you're scared that if this doesn't entertain people, it's not about the monies, it's not about the box office. If this doesn't entertain people, what else am I going to do? So I was very scared in the interim during the COVID times. Yeah. I even learned how to make Italian food just in case Pathan didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God for that. But, but do tell me, I mean, at some point when the movie released, maybe on the first day or the pre-release, you would have got that inkling, you would have got that instinct, ye picture to chal jayegi. When was that? So because of COVID, <coughs> uh, the people who made Pathan, Adi and Siddharth and everyone, all of us formed a group because we used to play, we play poker at night. We don't gamble. <laughs> Just play <laughs> without money, okay? Don't hold me for this and say this. <laughs> it's just love that we share. I've lost a lot of love in the last two years. So, <laughs> so we play poker and we sit down and the movie had released and we all got together and we said, okay, we'll find out. But genuinely, Zaka, I'm not showing off. There came a time because this is an unexpected kind of a business of a film. Nobody had seen business like this. Even the Yashraj film people who made the biggest of it. Uh, you know, nobody had seen how it will... Um, go like this. After about two, three days, it became just unbelievable. And I'm like, oh, these are the numbers? No, 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 this can't be. Poker me panch lakh ki chal. I swear we don't play with money, okay? This is a joke. This is a joke, everyone, okay? No, and, and uh, one movie is incredible in and of itself, but to have 2,000 crore plus, and then again, Dunkey, three big movies back to back in a single year. I can't remember the last time you've had three big hits in a single year. Was that planned or this is the mother of all comebacks, you planned it this way or it just so happened? No, this is, this is just the simple truth. <coughs> Main badsha. Main badsha. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I've been told not to be arrogant and mean and stupid. But yeah, this is uh, unexpected. But like I said, I honestly believe with all humility and genuine gratitude that uh, somewhere this is not about coming and watching a film. I think all the Indians, I genuinely deserve this award because all the Indians came out in hoods. I know people who don't even like me as an actor, two, three in 140 crore people. But, <laughs> <laughs> but there are some who would tell me, you know, I don't regularly watch your films, but I know friends and people calling me from all over the world and said, you know, we wanted to come out for Pathan. We wanted to come out for Jawan and just be supportive of what you do as an actor and as... Um, as a person, as a father, as a family man, as whatever. So I know this is way beyond uh, the goodness of the films. The Jawan was lovely. I think Pathan is fantastic. Dunkey is beautiful. But it is way beyond. And I think my directors and producers recognize that so. So it's with big gratitude. It's not a comeback. It is actually a reiteration of the fact that I belong and I should continue to act and not learn pasta and pizza. <laughs> and that can wait. You know, we are incredibly grateful that those movies worked and you made the comeback. But like you said, it was not about Shah Rukh, the individual alone. The industry itself was going through a bit of a crisis. I mean, people were saying, oh, Hindi film industry doesn't know how to make good movies anymore. South is making better movies. You know, script writers are not grounded anymore. And you changed all of that. So it went beyond just an individual Shah Rukh Khan or one movie. This was about putting confidence back in the industry because people had stopped coming to the theatres because of COVID. Yeah, it was, it was really bad times and, you know, they call it the post-pandemic time when uh, theatres were running empty, specifically the Hindi-speaking theatres. And yes, we had some wonderful people who are sending us to Ch Chand and Moon and also making films here in Hindi now, the guys from the South. And uh, yes, they do make larger-than-life films. Uh, Hindi films perhaps had started making cinema, which was a little more middle of the road. But there is now a youthful audience out in the country. You know, we are one of the youngest or the youngest country in the world. Yeah. And I guess they just want things which are bigger, better, faster, superior, over the top and maybe a little noisy <laughs> and uh, happier, you know. And middle of the road, real cinema may have, because, you know, this was years of uh, films which were lying in the cans, had to come down post-COVID. So I think now we are finding the groove in Hindi cinema 
and I cannot take the responsibility of bringing Hindi cinema back. And I can just take, uh, I, I can really uh, just thank everyone that I happen to be in those films, which started the trend of Hindi cinema being watched again. And we are extremely thankful. I, I say this on behalf of the whole Hindi film industry and the whole Indian film industry that it's really nice that people are coming back and doing this community watching. It's not just the OTT, it's not just the satellite stuff. Uh, please do keep watching CNN News 18, but beyond that, <laughs> uh, do watch <laughs> films in the theater. Thank you for that. You don't, We're on you cable don't, as well as on social. You don't get CNN News 18 in theaters yet, so <laughs> till such time. Uh, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's very humbling for all of us as workers, as actors, as producers, as directors, and I hope this trend continues. You talked about bigger, better, fast, superior South movies. Mr. Mani Ratnam is here, and the last time you two worked was, what, 20 years ago, 30 years ago? Are you going to make a pitch for a, another movie? When is he going to direct you again? You can ask him. Use the forum of CNN News 18, Indian of the Year. <laughs> Mani, sir, what now? It's all come out in the open now. <laughs> I'm requesting you. I'm begging you. I'm telling you every time, do a film with me. I swear this time I'll dance on top of a plane, chaiya chaiya, if you tell me. <laughs> What is the train? <laughs> Can somebody pass Mani sir a mic, please? And good evening, Swasni. I had told you that time, tell him before sleeping, Shah Rukh, Shah Rukh, Shah Rukh. <laughs> Mani sir, when are you going to cast Shah Rukh Khan? When I buy a plane. Oh, <laughs> you buy a plane. <laughs> if I buy a plane, I'll do it. <laughs> Mani, let me just tell you the way my films are going. <laughs> This, this plane is not far away, huh? I, I'll bring it down to earth, don't worry. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming on it. <laughs> 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 